Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all are blessed and I hope y'all had a great spectacular day. So today's video is a little different. I'm just going to be chatting with you guys about some things that's been going on in my life and stuff. And I just want to let y'all in, give y'all a little update on me. So before we get into it, y'all know the drill. Like, comment, and subscribe. Also, like I say every time, make sure y'all go in the description, click on that link, shop till you drop with me, Naturally Beautiful Skincare and Cosmetics, okay? With all that being said, let's get into this video. Okay, so something that is new, I am on a self-love journey. Yes, y'all, I am taking that step because I realized... I needed it what got me here was really um, me re me realizing that I don't know how to be alone and I don't know who I am who I even am just by myself like I don't know this may shock y'all but I have literally either been in a relationship or been talking to a boy romantically since like fourth grade and I'm a freshman in college now like it's just like I always had to have a companion I don't know why I feel that way I really don't know why like I'm literally trying to look back and figure out what made me feel like I need somebody all the time but you know we're working on it we're working on it what made me come to this realization was that the last few guys I have been um messing with while I've been on campus it hasn't been going the best and literally the same thing happens like they just stop talking to me and I really don't know why like I don't know like but the same thing it's the same thing over and over and over again and it's just getting to a point like I either something's wrong with me or God is trying to tell me something and I take it that God is trying to tell me something because baby what's wrong with me <laughs> nothing <laughs> please so that's what I have taken from that so that's what really made me decide to take a step back and that's when I seen that, yes, and I, you have really never been alone. So on this self-love journey, I have decided, you know, no romantic relationship with boys, no talking, no situationships, no vibing, or nothing, none of that. And also no type of sexual things at all. We're done. We're oh, it's over with, over, done. And I'm like, I'm standing on business. I'm standing on big business by that one. That's the that's the that's the main one I gotta I gotta stand on. Yeah, you know, no romantic relationship, no sexual stuff, and it's hard. It's hard. Not the sexual part, the romantic part, because it's like. I'm still in that sense where it's like I feel like I need somebody in a romantic way. But girl, you don't. Like, I don't. You know what I'm saying? And I was in the car with my mom this past weekend. We was talking about, you know, my journey and stuff. And she was just like, she asked me, like, did you even really, you know, like, you know, the boy that I was talking to? And I was like... I mean, like, she was, like, I was, like, what? And she was, like, if somebody else came along and took his place, like, would you even think about him? And I was, like, no. To be honest, I wasn't even thinking about him then. So she was, like, okay. 
So maybe you don't even really like these boys. You just want somebody. You just want somebody. And you're right on. <laughs> clocked it. She clocked it. She clocked that to y'all. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. And it's good that I know what it is now. So on the journey of learning how to be alone, how to be Sana. I have also been listening to the Self Love Fix podcast by Beatrice and y'all should really go check that out like on podcast because baby she's clocking me. She's clocking me. I feel like God sent me that podcast because y'all when I tell y'all every most of every single episode I'm like that's me that's me that's me that's me that's me because that's me like are we the same person do we go through the same stuff like it's like mm. and she did one episode that was on boundaries setting boundaries and I know it might come as a shock but I have a very difficult time setting boundaries but not for my family like I can tell my family no I don't know what it is, but I literally have, like, I cannot, set, I'm not good at setting boundaries with, like, other people that's outside of my bubble. Someone could want me to do something, and I'll just say, yes, even though I don't want to do it, and I know I don't want to do it, or things that I know I shouldn't do, but I just don't want them to feel like I'm mean, or I'm, you know, just rejecting them, like, it's just crazy, but in the podcast, she was talking about how, you know, those are reasons why people have trouble setting boundaries, but you have to realize that sometimes you cannot worry about how other people feel. You have to put yourself first above, put yourself above them, because if you don't care about your own feelings or don't respect your own feelings, who else is going to respect it? And you put in everybody else's feelings above your own. Baby, that's draining. That episode really, really, really stuck out to me. Because I was like, yeah, that's me. I definitely have a hard time setting boundaries. So I have been trying, you know, little, little by little. I have been trying to set boundaries um, with friends, acquaintances, you know, other family members like I've really been trying to say hey this is my boundary you know you need to respect it like mm, and I don't even have to explain to you why I have this boundary just know that this is my boundary don't cross it if you cross it you got to go but yeah if you go through this stuff like you're not alone I promise you you're not I'm here with you and I'm going through it with you we're working on not allowing people to have that much power over me to love myself enough to know when to set boundaries in the podcast she also talked about releasing shame which is another episode that really stuck out to me because i feel like i carry a lot of shame of stuff that i've done in my past that really i wish i could take back i, I wish i could just start life over you know the past is the past. I can't change the past. The only thing I can do is know that that's not who I want to be and to move forward into this new era of who I want to be, who I don't want to be, who I want to be. I'm telling y'all, please go listen to this podcast. It is it's amazing. Just go listen to it, y'all. It is, it is so 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 good please go listen another thing i want to talk about is what i've been doing lately to help release stress in a positive way i know this might sound like a cliche and stuff but i have been journaling baby and not even like writing because my hand like all that stuff i gotta say but my hands get cramped but on my computer i have like a little you know word document i just be on my type and stuff type 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 and it is just so 
it's crazy, but it just helps me so much to just put how I'm feeling into something that's not putting my fist into somebody's face. Another thing I do is <laughs> I started going to the gym, y'all. As y'all can see, like the double chin, it's kind of going away a little bit. Because I know at that Rock Wave concert when I was getting ready, I said, oh no, definitely not. But it's kind of going away a little bit. Hey. And plus summer is right around the corner, so I couldn't have picked a better time. But yes, the gym has really been a stress reliever. I go hard in the gym. <laughs> I be on the treadmill. And then I go to the little Stairmaster. And then I just be... I be like, oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. And I go to that floor, baby. I do extra sets. I be, ooh. And then my booty, my booty be getting a little plump. Like, every session is getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Stomach getting flatter, flatter, flatter. And the crazy thing is, like, people have always said that they wanted my body. Like, they love my body and my shape and for the longest, I'm like, what y'all seeing? Because I'm seeing a fat cow. It's just so crazy to me, like, how you can see something and then somebody else can see something else. And I was just looking at all my flaws. I'm just looking at the positive thing. I'm not looking at, oh, no, my stomach is getting bigger. Like, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the positive things. Like, look at my arms. Look at my butt. Look at them thighs. And I'm going to tell y'all something else that I've been doing. the holy bible baby yes i have been trying to get so close to god like last semester all i was doing was just i have this little um monthly bible reading plan on my phone that i like find on the internet and it has like a verse to read every day i would just read the verse highlight it go on about my day sometimes i didn't even know what the verse was even talking about I was just like, okay, yeah, this is me getting close to your heart. That's not enough. What I'm doing is still not enough, but I'm making progress. You know what I'm saying? I am making progress. So what I will do is read the verse that is provided. Highlight it, you know, do my little. I got these cute highlighters. They are so cute. I got them from Amazon. <laughs> but I'll highlight it, and then I will adopt or use the word method to study what i have read let me show y'all so like like this this is what i mean by the little word method i've been doing it lately don't look at my writing y'all my writing sucks we can work on that too, okay you know and what works for me may not work for you there's plenty of um studying methods for the bible out there this is just the one that i found that works for me every morning after i finish getting dressed for school with my bible read my verse do the word method w stands for word of god so you just write down the verse o stands for oh my gosh <laughs> no O stands for observation. So what did you observe from what you read? R is reflect. So just reflect on what you read. And D is for devotion. There I just write down a little prayer. And I talk to God a lot now. I really do. Lately, I have been praying that he helps me just see clear signs. Like I said, just make them as clear as they can be. Okay? glass clearly honestly lately i've been feeling like i've been getting a lot of signs and thing i can say is i'm really proud of this generation because i feel like this generation i am seeing so many young people follow christ i am like yes ma'am another thing that i am seeing a lot from our young generation entrepreneurs so many entrepreneurs especially young black entrepreneurs y'all we are killing it period like i have just been seeing so many 
so many whether it's nails makeup clothing brands it's just i'm proud i could cry who we finna work for nobody nobody but ourselves like and, and i love that that's why i say in every video click in the description down below to go to my website and shop for your skincare shop for your lip care shop for your body care shop till you drop i feel so good i am in such a better place i know some days are going to get hard and rough but i'm ready to weather the storm i'm ready a couple days ago i found out one of my family members did some shysty stuff and i was like what i was taken aback like it was to the point where my blood was boiling i wanted to like cuss her out so bad just like drug her through the mud and mm. but i'm like so nah breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out if you text her talking out your net saying all this stuff what is that going to do it's just going to create a bigger problem i don't want that i am done with drama in my life i really am i don't want it i don't want it so what did i do instead of doing all of that i just removed it because that's that what stresses you out you need to pick it up and throw it far far away i just had to get that away okay whether that is me blocking her on everything unadding her unfriending her whatever that's what i had to do because i just cannot allow somebody to take my energy i am protecting my energy and that's what i am going to continue to do i used to be one of those people that was like family is everything and family is everything so that's why when she did what she did it hurt me so bad and honestly to some people it might not even be a big deal the situation that is up here for me might be down here for somebody else but for me that's where i am i'm protecting my energy that's what i'm going to continue to do i think i talked about everything i wanted to talk about if you guys want to contact me at any time if you're going through anything that you just want to talk to somebody about please shoot me a um, dm on instagram message me facebook whatever well guys thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video make sure you like comment and subscribe also make sure you go down in the description below follow all my socials like i said if you ever need to talk my socials are in the description i know what else is in the description my business website make sure y'all click that link shop until you drop body care skin care lip care we got it okay with all that being said and Again, thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope you guys have a blessed, spectacular day. You are all beautiful and you are all loved. Mwah.